Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here from cloudpano.com, the world's best virtual tour software. I hope you're doing well today. Today, we're talking about how to scale a virtual tour business. If you don't know what a virtual tour business is, it's the really just the business of creating virtual tours or VR for clients uh, for money. So, so now that we've covered that, how do we scale the, the business? How do we take our 360 virtual tour ability and turn it into a thriving battleship of clients and customers? Well, there is a only a long answer to this. So the, 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 the question of scaling is like, like this buzzword. Right? I want to scale. I want to scale the moon. Well, um, a lot of things have to take place before that. First off, you have to be able to have a niche in math, mathematical transaction values that make sense so you can scale. You have to be able to have a margin that's high enough to be able to scale. Scaling involves teams. You need to be, be able to bring on a salesperson, bring on administrative staff, pay them every week, right? Or every other week. Um, those types of numbers and requirements and business models require that you have invest, you're able to invest in a team that can help you. We have our team, we have Liam, we have Nate, we got, you know, Clayton, my, my co-founder, my, my partner, our whole entire, you know, six to seven person development team. We have this whole team. This is how you can scale. You cannot scale by yourself. Does it make sense? You have to be able to build a team. We have a CRM that we run all our sales pipelines through. You got to be able to manage that right? You got to be able to really be an operator if you want to scale, okay? But the number one thing that helps you scale is customers and a customer pipeline. So we teach that you need to have an established results and case studies for your clients that you lead with in your advertising. So you need to have advertising set up because here's the deal. Eyeballs cost money. And if you want to have eyeballs on your stuff, you have to, you're going to have to pay for it. So you have to be able to advertise profitably. So you have to be able to book demo calls for under $50 a demo call. That's your goal. Now, that's going to be hard to do if you don't have proof. So if you're wondering why is it that my advertising is not sticking, it's not producing for me, I'll just turn it off. Well, the reason is because you need to show results of your clients, not just what you do and how cool the tech is. You need to show the results you're getting clients. And if you don't have results to share, you need to go get some. That's your goal, right? Even if it's small results, you need to get some. That's what matters. So uh, to attract people to you with advertising, you need results. And if you can show results, you're going to do well with advertising. And you'll be able to scale. Also, number two, ooh, man, so advertising number one. Number two is you need to be tracking appropriately. You need to have all your metrics set up. You need to have conversion tracking set up. If you don't know how much you're paying per lead, then there's no way you're going to know how much more money you should spend in the future. This is a big deal in business, especially when you're trying to scale. At the end of the day, you become a statistician and a and a digital marketer that's just putting money in and getting money out. That's what a scaling machine is doing. Well, that's what we do at Cloud Piano. If I don't have tracking and conversion tracking set up, I would have to turn off the advertising. But I know they work. I know they make ROI. So... This is important for you. If you don't have tracking in place, you won't be able to scale appropriately, okay? You may be able to scale in the short term, but you need to be able to know or assign a value to you. What am I paying per demo call? And per demo call, what's my current close rate, right? And how do I fill up that pipeline? You can do automatic prospecting and blanking like we do in VTPS. You can do advertising and retargeting, retargeting advertising like we do in VTPS for your virtual for business, or you can choose to not do those things and just hope, right? Well, hope doesn't work. You know, I think everyone knows that. Hope marketing does not work. So how do we scale? What do we do? We need a team. We need to be able to advertise. We need to be able to track what we're doing. And we need to rinse and repeat, okay? Uh, once you have these things in place, you can start to optimize each stage in the sales cycle, and that's how you're going to be able to scale. So if you would like some help with this, if you would like help scaling your virtual tour business, reach out to me individually, comment below this video. We also have a free Facebook ads training to help you put some handles on what it's like to advertise for your business so that you can scale. So insert your information below, check out the free training, super helpful. And if you want advanced Facebook advertising, training, reach out to me directly. We can talk about it or check the links that you get sent when you opt in for the free training below this video.
Okay, talk to you soon. Get started today at cloudpano.com.